I first came to know Ovid Kid Lad, notice his art. Well, for one thing, one can't help but take notice with such a name, Ovid Kid Lad. Although, of course, that's just his professional name. But noticing is different from maintaining interest. As I looked at his portfolio, I really like his works because I'm so into colors and stylized depictions of everyday people and scenes. But what really made me such a fan is his humor that can be seen in his titles. They're not just funny for the sake of being funny, but it is part of his work. Uh, his titles, they contextualize his works. Like this one, I Salute Balut. A horse with a lot of names. You have to be a certain age, I guess, or you have to be into retro music to get this. And I'm not going to tell you what it is referencing to. Jazz once, well, <laughs> who hasn't heard that song more than once at a karaoke or video session? And Lolo Operatic. If only for the titles, it would be fun to collect his works, you know. Speaking of fun, speaking of opera, well, Ovet Kidlad didn't disappoint when he came up with his entry at the 19 Kopong Kopong exhibition. Here we have another fun, very humorous painting. And again, his title, Hindi mo ba ako nakikilala ako si Don Tiga. I wrote to him, commending him for his title, and I said that, you know what, I could even hear him sing. Such confidence. What do you mean? Hindi mo ba ako nakikilala? It reminds me of self-entitled people. But all that did that lent me in on the joke I'll tell you later. But when I saw this painting, I was saying like, definitely he is somebody who is full of himself. He feels self-important. He has his eyes closed. He is in his own world expecting people to look at him just from his posing. He, he has his left arm on his chest and right arm stretched out. It's like showing to the world, look at me, look at me. I am really somebody. He doesn't even face us. He is on his side. And scrolling through all the entries in the exhibit, I came across Wendell Kadawan's Harana. <laughs> and I said, these two make an interesting pair. It's like Don Tiga is so full in himself, while Wendell Kadawan's figure character speaks for all of us with his Garfield eyes and with his guitar on his side. It's like he's saying to Don Tiga that he is ruining it for sincere Harana singers who, who are trying to woo beloved. Like Wendell saying to Don Tiga, oh, shut up. Uh, but then, Robert Kidlad explained something to me that I really missed. Uh, see here, there's a broom here. So he's Tagalinis, Tagawalis. And we have here something cooking. So he's the Tagaluto. Can you find other things to show that? He's very domesticated, far from being arrogant, far from being self-entitled. So I think he is proud of being a house husband. Otherwise, he wouldn't be having fun with it. So Wendell's character, you may be wondering, is that me 10, 15 years from now after I win the heart and hand of my beloved? Have fun with Robert Kidla or Robert Vigo Maran. And like I said earlier, Go through his profile, go through his portfolio, it will be fun. And fun is not something you usually associate with art because we always think of art as fierce, full of angst or sentimental or overly sentimental. But all the kids that shows us that it, art can have a message and we can have fun as well.
Thank you for Wendell Kadawan as well for letting us use his work. For somebody as young as he is, look at his works as well. There's so much depth. Having fun and depth in art is essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.